Okay guys, so breakfast starts with two packets of Felix. Lovely. Now back to the real task at hand. So we start off. We start off with approximately one cup of porridge oats. This is plain porridge oats, no added sugar, no added honey, no added anything. Now we just add water. You have to put quite a bit of water in because it soon expands. The porridge oats, as you can see, takes on the water very quickly. So I'll have to add some more water before I put it into the microwave. Always keep your surfaces clean. I sound like an old woman now, don't I? Obviously, I can't put a metal spoon in the microwave. So that goes to one side. Microwave for two minutes on full power. While the porridge is microwaving, I fill up my gallon container of water. I put in some electrolytes and some coconut powder, which adds obviously electrolytes and adds coconut powder, turns into coconut water, and it helps with hydration. In case anybody didn't know, coconut water is one of the best nutrients that you can take in to hydrate because it's got natural electrolytes and obviously it's very good for hydration. It's very, very good, and very natural product. Unfortunately, the stuff we get in the UK has been zapped to hell because it's obviously been shipped over from countries like Philippines and from Asia. So here I'm putting in, which is a caged muscle product. Now I'm not advocating use, using supplements. I don't use very much supplements. I use a whey isolate, which you can see here. And I use a hydrolyzed whey. That's for fast digesting protein. I use that very infrequently. I mostly use a standard, simple gold standard whey. Now I'm not advocating any products. This isn't sponsored by any any manufacturers. I'm not advocating using cage muscle products. I'm not recommending using optimum nutrition products. This is purely just the products that I use at the moment after years of experience that works for me. But these are the only products that I use. I don't use any other supplements. And wherever I'm working, this gallon jug goes with me. I generally, minimum, will drink a gallon of water a day. Commonly, I'll drink a gallon and a half. And if you wonder why this is discolored, it's purely because of the flavoring that's in the cage muscle hydrocharge product. It's just slight flavoring and it's natural flavoring. So it just slightly discolors it and I flush it out with hot water every single day and it slightly gets discolored and then I replace it um, when it gets really bad. It doesn't cause any problems. Obviously it's not unhealthy. If it was unhealthy, I wouldn't be doing it. So our porridge oats has been microwaved. As you can see, the water has been heavily absorbed into the porridge oats. So what I do now is add more water. Just mix the water in. Here I'm adding more water than I would normally use and the reason for that is because I'm going to add some whey protein and whey protein is obviously a powder and therefore will absorb more water. This is just a uh, very standard whey protein. It's not an isolate, it's just a standard whey protein. Fairly cheap when you buy it in this sort of bulk. It's a, it's a, it's a good quality protein but there's nothing special about it. You don't need anything special in the morning. You just need to get a general one scoop or whatever relates to your weight and your size. There was a time when I used to weigh absolutely everything. I don't need to do that anymore. I can pretty much eyeball products and know how much protein and carbohydrates is in there with regards to my body. Now to this, we'll add one kiwi fruit. I would normally cut this on a hardened surface, so I'm gonna be careful here because I'm cutting on the wood. Why am I doing that? Well, so that you can see on camera. The technique I've learned for putting in kiwi fruit, obviously you don't want the skin, is to get a spoon, fairly sharp spoon, to get the spoon in there and then to go around the skin. Obviously the kiwi fruit has to be fairly right around the outside of the skin and then where the kiwi fruit connects at the bottom, you cut it like a knife, obviously it's not very sharp, so you have to really push hard. Obviously there are some natural sugars within kiwi fruit. The amount of sugar in every regards to health benefits is minimal. And vit um, kiwi fruit will provide vitamin C and a lot of antioxidants. So to augment the kiwi fruit and to add some more antioxidants, blueberries, very simple. In general, berries are very good, low sugar, a lot of antioxidants, very healthy, especially for breakfast. Fruit in general is not that great for us. It might have some nutrients in there, but things like um, bananas aren't necessarily good. They carry a lot of sugar. And um, general fruit carries a lot of sugar. Well, you may say, okay, it's natural sugar but natural sugar is still sugar. You've got about a cup full of porridge rolled oats with water and you've got one measure of whey protein, not isolate, just standard whey protein, one kiwi fruit without the skin and some blueberries. That's the first stage of my breakfast. There's not much protein in there, that's mainly carbohydrates and 
antioxidants and nutrients. So this is the second stage of the breakfast. This is egg whites, so it's approximately six to eight egg whites and about two to three egg yolks, depending on how much exercise I'm doing. The egg yolks is for the good fats and obviously the egg whites is pure protein, so we don't want too much good fats, hence why it's mostly egg, mar egg whites, predominantly egg whites, and only one or two um, possibly three egg yolks depending on how much exercise I'm doing throughout the day. This augments my porridge oats and whey protein breakfast which obviously and as you've seen before has the blueberries and the kiwi fruit for antioxidants. So this is additional protein. Egg whites is a very pure protein therefore it's assimilated by the body very quickly hence why people who want to keep fit and want to gain muscle or keep muscle mass um, use egg whites a lot and eat a lot of eggs because egg whites are very high in protein. Eggs in general are very high in protein, but we try and avoid too many egg yolks. Yes, they're nutrient dense, they have a lot of protein in the egg yolks, but they also have a lot of fat. Commonly, I would use cartons of egg whites that I purchase, and typically I'll purchase them from musclefoods.com, but I haven't got any cartons of egg whites at the moment, so I do it the old fashioned way. Everybody has their own techniques for separating egg whites. I've done it for many years, and this is the technique I use the general rolling between the two eggshell halves, and then flicking the remaining egg whites, and then obviously the eggshells in the bin. So that's six egg whites. So today I'm doing a lot of cycling later on, so I'll put two full eggs in, which of course gives me another two egg whites and two egg yolks. Obviously that will be mixed up and then put into the pan. These egg yolks will be discarded. So there you have the egg whites and egg yolks. You've got around eight egg whites there and two egg yolks. The remaining egg yolks will be discarded. Unfortunately, I don't eat the egg yolks because as I say, they're predominantly fat. Now I use an induction hob. I replaced the electric hob, which took forever to heat up. So I've exchanged it for an induction hob, which is very quick and very efficient. Put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Put the pan up to temperature, which is very quick, with an induction hob. Get a fresh fork out. And mix the egg whites and the egg yolks together. Doesn't really make any difference, but just makes it so it's a better colour when it cooks. You can add some pepper and some salt if you like. I just, I don't bother. I just do it with um, pure egg whites and the egg yolks. And this is a coated pan I'm using here, so I can be a bit rough about it. Because I know in general it's not going to stick. If you're using something like a French skillet, then you'll have to be a lot, um, a lot more careful. Obviously, with a French skillet, you've got to make sure that you've prepared the pan properly, that it's been seasoned. There we go. Six to eight egg whites with two egg yolks. That augments my protein. So I had protein with the porridge oats. The protein I had with the porridge oats was the standard whey protein. And I've got additional protein here. This will all stack up towards my protein for the day. That's today's breakfast finished. So thank you for watching guys and as usual please like and subscribe. I noticed that around 70-75% of my viewers aren't actually subscribed users so it doesn't cost you anything. Please subscribe. It's very important for me to increase my, my subscription on the channel so that I can progress forward. Um, it's the good old situation with the Google and the YouTube algorithms. Um, so the eagle-eyed of you will notice that I've had a bit of a clothes change. So this video, the core contents of this breakfast video was recorded um, a few months ago and since then um, it was stalled on uploading it to YouTube because of um, myself and my son focusing on the Porsche content. So um, please look at the, the 993S Porsche content below. I've got links below in the description for the Porsche 993S playlist and that has all the Porsche content and more Porsche content to come as well for the 993S. So a lot more Porsche information coming and today the Eagle Eye of you also will have noticed that my breakfast is slightly different. Um, still the porridge oats and but today we've got blueberries for antioxidants and also the even more Eagle Eye of you will notice that change to the microwave. <laughs> the last one must have had enough of uh, microwaving my porridge oats um, and burnt out so uh, we've got a new microwave there as well. So again thanks a lot for watching guys like, subscribe, blah, 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 and uh, see you in the next video. Take care.